Hey guys, welcome back to my Wolf Doubt New Vegas series. I am Roaring the Werewolf. Now, in this particular adventure, I decide to repair one of the broken robots that I had picked up before while in Good Springs and finally clear out the area in Prim that has been, well, infiltrated by rebel convicts that came from the prison up to the north. Uh, I check out the Vicky Advance, which is a casino in here, and discover that there is a chicken shit deputy who managed to get himself captured inside the lucky casino of Bison Steve. So, we go on a slight rescue mission as we are slaughtering the convicts inside the casino. So, join me on this adventure and enjoy. All right, dog meat is out in front of Prim, the entrance, keeping a lookout. Now, let's see if I can make myself a new friend. Mm, did I give it to you, Edie? Yeah, yeah I did. All right. Let's take all this. And we'll just make ourselves a, a repaired Mr. Handy. Uh, that's all I could do right now. Whilst repairing the robot, you notice a warranty card from the Karelian Robotics stuck into the eternal cavity with an address in Las Vegas printed on it. Hmm. We might have to look at that later. But it looks like you are up and running quite nicely. How are things going? Uh, I couldn't put an audio book in you. An audio hollow tape. That's, that's all right, okay. Um, go ahead and follow me. You should be fine for now. And if you get broken during damage, I can just repair you again. Well, hopefully. Alright. It's now nightfall. Which building are the convicts held up in? Vicky advances or Bison Steve. Let's go ahead and see if we can clear Vicky advances first. All right, be ready. We're going in. Wait, is there somebody over there? picking up somebody, but I don't see anybody. And they must be up on the roof, hidden from my eyes. That's quite alright. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. The town's gone to hell. I can see that. Uh, but who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Ah, uh, I took a job as a courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I can see that, but I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Yeah, it should be right here. What can you tell me about this job? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. 
That job had Strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the cats. Hmm. Huh. Okay, what was Strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, cancelled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Hmm. Huh. So somebody canceled before me. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Huh. Sounds like the person knows me. Do you happen to know who he was and where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Not for me to say. Okay. Um, hmm. A cowboy robot. I saw one as I was stepping in. Do you mean the one over there? Nope. Different fella. Bigger. Had himself a face on a screen, and he talked more like you or me. Ah. Uh, hmm, that is fishy. Okay. Some men stole my package. A man in a checkered suit. And some thugs. Did they happen to pass this way? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Hmm. One of those men shot me. I need to know the best way I can get to him. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else? I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Hmm. Uh. Where can I get information about the man who shot me? A beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. So this beagle. Hmm. Okay. Um. What else? What else? How about, do you happen to know if the NCR is planning to attack the prison north of here? I might know something, but my memory ain't what it used to be. Sometimes it needs motivating. Well... I only ask politely for the first time. Uh, you can tell me in a nice sort of way. No need to get upset, youngster. We're all friends here. I swore not to say a word to no one, but an NCR deserter passed through some days ago and traded for supplies. According to him, the NCR has decided enough's enough is going to send in a mess of troops to take back the prison any day now. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it seems like you guys are in quite the situation. Is there anything I can do to help Prim? Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law. But he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. So that's where the convicts are, are held up instead of here. Okay. Um, I happen to have questions about this robot. 
ED. That beat up old pile of bolts? What do you want to know? Where did it come from? The courier dropped it off a little bit ago. I'd hoped to get it up and running for some courier work, but never could get it running. Huh. <laughs> uh, do you have any idea of what I should do with it? Now that I, well, have it? Not a bit. I imagine there must be some people around curious about that kind of technology. Okay. Don't go getting yourself shot. Okay. Deputy Beagle is held up, more than likely being held hostage. It looks like everyone here is hey there. up in arms. You're all careful. Let me let me You got that old robot up and running again? How's it working out for you? Not so far, okay. Um why do you keep calling the gangsters? I thought they were called powder gangers. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. Well, I guess that's true. Um, any information that you can give me about Bison Steve for Prim or anything like that? Well, I'll answer what I can. Hmm. Huh. What is the Bison Steve? It's an old hotel and casino here in town. Old Laura used to rent out rooms there, but she took off months ago. Across the way from the Vicky and Vance, the other old casino. Can't miss it. Okay. Don't go getting yourself shot. All right, well, I guess it's time to save that deputy. Hopefully. Alright, we gotta be very careful. I don't think there's another entrance in. And there's no way I can get to the second floor, at least not in the dark. I can't see. Alright, there was somebody over there. Careful. Uh, there is. Yeah. Easy terminal. I could hack this. Okay. Um. <laughs> that was easy. Yes, the robot is the voice is working. <laughs> well, holy shit. Oh shit, did my robot blow up? Oh no. No, he ended up here. Fuck Edie. <laughs> Uh, we could probably also harness their brains for little tiny robots. Alright, what do we got in here? We got service maintenance key. That could be useful. A couple items. Ah, oh, man, we can fill up quite nicely. I could pick this lock. At least I think I can. Come on. Oh, fuck. There we go. Ah.
and I gotta lower this uh, this bot's aggression. He is too aggressive. Uh, if I order him to be passive. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, whatever. Okay. Uh, I need this. Brain saw. Extract the brain. Nice. Oh. I guess that one I I kind of <laughs> I kind of ruined. Oh well. <laughs> world currency I could definitely use that there we go the maintenance key fit in quite nicely uh, armor piercing now let's go with two two three rounds more is going to be coming. Be on the lookout. Well, you must be Deputy Beagle. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Yep, yep, you must be him. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I can see that. Uh, <laughs> uh... How did you end up being a hostage? I must say it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement. The powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. Oh. I watched them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. Right. Ah, killed your sister. Okay. I hear you may have information on some cons that came through with a guy in a checkered suit. My good lady, I believe I may have some information that would prove useful. If you would just untie my hands, I'd be more than happy to share that information I have with you. How about you tell me now, or I will, I will just leave you here. Well, you look to be a trustworthy sort. Okay, I'll tell you what I know. I overheard them saying that they're on their way to Novak. If you want to follow them, I strongly suggest that you follow the road through Nipton. There are a lot of dangerous things out in the desert. And you won't have me with you to protect you, as I need to stay here and keep Prim safe. Right. It would be so very delightful if you set me free. All right, I'll set you free. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, sure. Run away. I, I don't. I don't really need you anyway. 
then I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms and see you outside. Hopefully he doesn't get himself shot while waking while walking out here. Like from that guy. Oh shit, Edie fucked you up. <laughs> Okay, good. He made it safely outside. Damn! He just burnt you to a crisp. Okay. Now we gotta find ourselves the leader and clear out the rest of these people. Uh, Brainsaw! Come here, Brain! Yeah, gross. Bitches. You like that? Man, these guys are... They almost got me good, too. Ugh. So glad I decided <laughs> uh, to make myself a robot. Well, repair one anyway. That little bit of extra helped out quite a bit. That wonder glue. Ransom note. Mr. Peterson, if you want to see your wife alive again, bring the cash 
in small unmarked bills to the place in Steve on Tuesday. Huh. This must be very old, old hollow tape. I don't see a third, uh, second body. Huh. I wonder why that's there. Why that's still there, anyway. This must be it, because that door was locked. Oh, yep. Yep, whatever happened here happened a long time ago. Bunch of... Psycho on the... Well... Looks like somebody killed themselves. While taking drugs to ease the pain. Oh. Well, I think... I think this place is now cleared. Should be, anyway. Unless we go outside, and there are more. <laughs> but, <laughs> damn. Oh. Oh, looks like my robot repairing skills has gotten better since the DC Wasteland. And this guy lasted pretty well. Okay, time to get out of here. Yep, this place is clean. Prim is now safe. For now. And I took care of that person outside. He must have been hiding on the on the railroad track. Or the roller coaster? Is that what these things are called? Roller coaster. Okay, let's go back in. So, the chicken shit Deputy Beagle is here. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation, not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? <laughs> First of all, we? Are, are you serious? Uh, <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. Right, yeah, but the... Uh... But once the sheriff dies, the deputy becomes the sheriff. That's usually how it goes. But if you want to remain a chicken shit all your life, that that's fine by me. Uh, what are the qualifications for a sheriff, by the way? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Hmm. Ah, uh, Myers, I did talk to him. He, he sounded like he would be a good fit. I guess I can help bring the law and order back to Prim? You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Hey, hey, I'm not done with Any you. Any luck finding a suitable candidate for our next sheriff? Right, right, okay. 
Can you tell me more about the man in the checkered suit who came through here? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. That's it? That's all you can tell me? Hey. Any luck finding a suitable candidate for our next sheriff? No, chicken shit. I'm still looking. What are you doing here, anyway? Well, a deputy isn't much good without a sheriff. Uh, so I figured I'd come in here and protect these good people until someone finds us a new one. Right. Maybe next time you can bring a new sheriff back with you. Duh. Yeah. No wonder his sister got the <laughs> got married and he didn't. All right. Hey there. Uh, where is Ah. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, what is here at Vicky Vance's? Everyone's holed up here. That's where we are. This here little casino brought some cash and bodies into the town before them powder gangsters came in. Now they can't rush us without eating a good bit of hot lead, but we are in a kind of box canyon. Guess this is a fitting place for that as any. I reckon that if they thought hard enough about it, they'd realize they got more bodies than we have bullets. But for now, we're safe enough in here. Okay. Ask away. Uh, what happened to it? I mean... You know. Let's see. Been tough around here for a good while now. Worse since them thugs kidnapped our deputy. It started with the breakout from the prison up the road. First there was just a few thugs rolling through town, but then they got organized. Now they call themselves powder gangsters or something, and run around throwing dynamite and shooting people. A little while ago, a good chunk of them left whatever kind of organization they got up there to squeeze all the food and drink out of us they could. Huh. Don't go getting yourself shot. I wonder if there's anything else I can do. Either. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? What about... Hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll find a new sheriff for you guys so you don't have to worry too much about it. I think I have a good idea who I want to... Well, he's not doing anything better anyway. Finally decided to make yourself useful, huh? If you can bring the law back to Prim, we'll all be in your debt. Uh-huh. Uh, well, I guess, I guess that's it. Bye. I should rest up here. And see if they can have an extra bed for me to sleep in until the night shows up. Oh, wait. Yeah. Maybe look around some more. Hey there. I'm oh, getting tired. Oh. Maybe they'll have something useful. Yeah, plus I need to go through all these items and sell them. Ooh, ooh, I could sell them to Mr. Nash. Let me go ahead and do that. Um. <laughs> oh, maybe I should repair that Securitron too. I guess that's it for a few hours. Howdy. Let me talk to these people. Get to know them. Hopefully get them on our side. Hey there. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching this Wolf Doubt New Vegas series. Remember to comment and subscribe if you so feel like it. Now, if you want to know the mods I use, I put them in the description below. If you want to check out my other LP series, you can do so on my YouTube channel. Now you guys, stay furry, and I will see you all in the next episode. Ba-bam! Whoa.